In this lesson, we're going to cover how to grade a student assignment in Moodle. And what I'm going to do in this particular lesson is I will first go ahead and log in as one of our students. And I'm going to be logging in as Amy. And if you look at the top right corner, you will see that I am currently logged in as Amy Alvarez. And I have uploaded an assignment for students that I placed right over here just for illustrative purposes. And it's called Financial Analysis Report. And the students basically have to submit a five-page financial analysis report on a publicly traded company. And if I were the student, what I would need to do is complete the paper and then I would need to upload the paper. So I'm currently logged in as Amy as a student and I want to go ahead and submit my assignment. So what I will do is click on Add Submission. And I've got a PDF document, which is a sample assignment. I will drag it and drop it here as a student. And then I will save changes. This is basically what your students would have to go through to be able to submit an assignment. Now I'm going to go ahead and log out and I will log back in as an instructor. All right, I am logged back in as myself and you can see that the profile picture and the name at the very top right corner have changed and I'm going to go ahead and grade the assignment. And there are several ways that you can get to the assignment. You can click on the assignment itself, and you can click on grade, or you can go to the grade book and grade it from there, but I typically like to go directly to the assignment and click on grade. And what this will do is it'll bring up the first student's assignment that is listed, and then I can scroll back and forth from Amy to other students using the arrow on the right corner right over here, or I can kind of jump to the different students that I have in class. Uh, but right now we've only got one paper that was submitted by Amy, and this is her paper. And in order to grade this paper, all I would have to do, and this is the first page, and this is an eight-page paper that Amy submitted, so you can scroll through every single one of the pages and go back to the beginning and let's say that we want to kind of mark up this paper. You've got the toolbar at the very top over here that allows you to basically highlight if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and highlight this and let's say that you want to add a little sticky note over here for the students. So you can go ahead and put a little sticky note over here that says the title is catchy. can scroll down, go to the next page perhaps, and let's say that there's an error over here. Once again, you can go ahead and highlight, and you can put in a comment if you want to, and so we can put in a comment over here that says, And you've got other tools over here, so you can always draw lines if you want to specifically draw a line or if you want to uh, draw attention to something, you can go ahead and also uh, either use the square or the circle feature over here if you want to select an entire section that you want to comment about. So these are some text tools that you basically can utilize. You've also got the squiggly line over here, so if you want to actually write something by hand, you can use that basically note over there, and you can put something in there. I'm using a mouse, but if you do have a tablet with a uh, pen, like a Wacom tablet or something of that nature, you can go ahead and handwrite directly on the student paper, which is extremely valuable when you're providing feedback. All right. Uh, the other thing that you can do as well on this paper is you can go ahead and add an overall score here. Let's say that Amy did a good job. We're going to give her an 85 out of 100. Um, and then you can put in some more feedback and notes over here. So let's just go ahead and put a written comment there for her. The other really cool and very useful feature that you've got built into Moodle is the fact that you're able to provide direct audio feedback to your students. So if you wanted to speak to Amy and perhaps explain something to her um, directly through audio, you can go ahead and click on the microphone icon right there, click on start recording, and your browser may prompt you to ask you for permission to access your microphone, you can go ahead and click on that. It usually will pop up in the top right. And you can go ahead and start speaking. And as I'm speaking right now, the system is recording what I'm saying. When I click on stop recording, I've got the option of playing back my recording. And if I like it, 
And if it works for me, I can go in and click on attach. And if it, I don't like the recording, I can then re-record. So let's go ahead and attach this recording. And there is some written feedback for Amy. She's also got audio feedback. Now, the other thing that Moodle allows you to do is to go in and do a video recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click on video. So if you wanted her to actually see you speaking directly to her, uh, you can go ahead and do that as well in Moodle. So you can click on start recording. And this is the dialog box that I was talking about earlier on. You will need to give the browser access to your camera. So I'm going to allow it. Now, I've got a lens cap on to my camera, so you can't see my face, but it is recording a video right now. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, and then you can preview your video recording here if you want to, and then attach it to the assignment. And this is how you can go ahead and annotate and grade an assignment in Moodle by actually highlighting and writing, putting in handwritten comments, putting in post-it notes as well and providing some written feedback, audio feedback, and also video feedback. And once you've done all of this, what you'll need to do is you will need to go ahead and save. You do have the option of notifying the student that their grades have been posted and there's a message and I would recommend that you do that. So it gives the students an opportunity to go and review your feedback immediately. So let's go ahead and click on save. Now, if you were working on multiple assignments that you want to grade for different students, you would click click save and show next and it will take you to the next student. In my particular case, I've only got the one sample assignment, so I'm just going to click on save. Great. So we are done with Amy's paper. And what I'd like to do now is I'm going to go back to the course and I want to show you what this looks like on the grade book. So in the grade book, if I were to go to the grade book and let's find Amy, there's Amy right there. And let's scroll over to her assignment. So this is Amy's assignment right there. All right, now I want to show you what the student sees on her end. So I'm going to go ahead and log out from the system and I am going to pretend to be Amy again. All right, I am logged back in as Amy and if I were Amy, what I would like to do at this point is go to grades and scroll down to the assignment that I submitted and I will see my score right there. There's going to be the written feedback from my professor and on the far right corner there will be an audio and the video that the professor recorded for me. So this is basically what the student will see on her end. And this is how you can go ahead and grade assignments directly on Moodle.